In this video I'm going to be restoring a project I have backed up to an external hard drive. So I'm going to copy that project from my hard drive and bring it into my iMovie library. So this video will help to show you how you can restore projects that you have backed up previously. So let's begin by opening up our external libraries. So you can see here in the project section of iMovie that I have this little drop down field. And if we click on that, we'll see what iMovie libraries are available to us. And you can see that I have three different libraries. One of those is the default library that is installed on our computer. So that's called iMovie library. And if I go to file open library, you can see that I have two more libraries here. And these are the libraries I've created on my external hard drive. Now, if your hard drive is plugged in, you should see the libraries here that you have created previously. So I'm gonna click and select one of these. And you can see that I have this video or this project on this external hard drive. And what I want to do here is I wanna copy this into the iMovie on my local computer. So I'm gonna click on the three little dots on the right side at the bottom of the project. And you'll see an option here for move to library. And you can also do copy to library. So in this case, if we want to copy it and leave the original project on our external hard drive, we can use the copy to library option. So once I hover this copy to library option, it will show a list of libraries I can copy this project to. So I'm gonna click on the iMovie library and I could actually move it to my other library on my hard drive, which is just my name here. So you can actually switch it between libraries. So I'm gonna copy this to my local iMovie library. And this is a very small project, so I think that it copies across quite quickly, but I'll just leave it a few seconds. And once we switch libraries again, so I'm switching back to my main iMovie library and once I scroll up to the top, we can see that we have got this project copied across now. So now we have two copies of the same project, one on our external hard drive and the other one on our computer's iMovie library. So the benefit of doing this is that it allows us to modify the copy on our computer in our iMovie library and still not affect the original copy that we have backed up on our hard drive. So it's a nice way to later take short clips of an existing video or modify an existing video without affecting the original copy. So that's it for this video. Hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. And if it has, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content. And I will see you all in the next video.